welcome to dsej home classes a digital initiative by director school education jammu madam anuradha gupta my dear students today i am uh, going to start with the next lecture and that is the chapter morphology after flowering plants of class 11th and before i start with the uh, this chapter i would like to tell you what do you mean by the term morphology so my dear students morphology is the branch of biology which deals with the study of external forms and structures of living organisms that is when we are studying the external form structure and uh, size color and relative position of the various organs in a particular organism we are actually studying the morphology it is very useful for the identification because by studying the external morphology we come across the identification that is we can identify a particular organism a plant or a animal and moreover it helps us to classify the organisms because by correlating the different features external forms we can group the similar organisms in similar groups so morphology of the plants that we are going to discuss and so i have to tell you suppose you can see this figure of the plant in which there are depicted the root portion the stem portion fruits seeds then flowers leaves etc so when we are studying all these structures actually we are studying the morphology of the plant so dear students we will be discussing each and every organ the root the stem the leaf seed fruit uh, uh, flower etc in this chapter and today i am going to start with the root of the plants in the morph chapter morphology of the flowering plants so far as the root is concerned you can see in this figure root is the underground non green part of the plant means it grows below the ground and since it does not perform the process of photosynthesis so it is non green in its color about its function generally it is meant for anchorage and absorption anchorage means fixing the plant to the substratum that is the soil in which it grows and absorption means providing nourishment to the growing plants by providing all the necessary and vital elements like water the micronutrients macronutrients etc about its growth the root is positively geotropic it means it grows towards the gravity that is away from the above uh, above soil portion it grows towards the soil that is positively geotropic and because it grows away from the light therefore it is called negatively phototropic photo means light and towards light it does not grow so this is negatively phototropic it grows in this fashion of course it provides nourishment to the plant by providing all the necessary vital components micronutrients macronutrients as well as water air etc so because the flowering plants are very diversified so roots are also of different types and i have to tell you the different types of the roots found in the flowering plants are the tap root fibrous root and the adventitious root first of all the tap root which is very common in the dicot and is uh, it arises from the radical portion of the embryo here in this case there is one primary main root from which grows the secondary root which may in turn bear the tertiary roots are the root here so far as the fibrous roots are concerned they are prominent in monocots and they are not born from the radical portion of the embryo they develop mostly from the lower nodes are and all the uh, roots they are of the same length and diameter there is no primary secondary or the tertiary roots adventitious roots they develop from any organ of the shoot system they could develop from the nodes internodes stem branches or even the leaves in some cases 
so accordingly we have divided different types of the roots into two types of the root system and the two types of the root system are the tap root system and the adventitious root system the tap root system this develops from the radical parts of the embryo and it grows like this one main root then secondary primary root is main root then secondary roots and tertiary root which arises from it whereas the adventitious root system root develops from any portion of the plant other than the radical and is known as the adventitious root it may develop from the base of the stem or from any node or internode or the branch or even the leaf so these are the different types of the roots that we come across in the flowering plants now i am moving onwards to the regions of the root what are the regions of the root that when we see the root it shows different portion the root is covered at the apex by a thimble like structure called as the root cap it protects the tender root as it makes its way through the soil when it makes its way through the soil it come across the particles of the soil and since it is very tender it may get injured so nature has provided it with the root cap a few millimeter above the root cap is the region of meristematic activity called as the meristematic zone the cells of this region are very small thin walled and with dense protoplasm they divide repeatedly the cells proximal to this region means this region the cells proximal to this region undergo rapid elongation and enlargement and are actually responsible for the growth of root in terms of length and this region is called as the region of elongation the cells of the elongation zone gradually differentiate and mature hence this zone proximal to the region of elongation is called as the region of maturation from this region some of the epidermal cells form very thin and delicate these thread like structures to which we call root hairs these root hairs absorb water and minerals from the soil so these are the various regions of the root and my dear students i have just told you that the function of the root is the anchorage that is fixing the plant to the substratum and absorption of the minerals and water but root does not perform only these functions sometimes the root gets modified to perform some additional function which is Uh, studied under the heading the root modifications that is root get modified for certain other purposes and then it performs additional function in st um, spite of the its normal function the anchorage and absorption it could be for the uh, food storage and the uh, the food storage could be in the tap root could be in the adventitious roots it could be for some other purpose for example for providing additional support to the plant or some other vital functions such as hostoria velamen roots reproductive roots nematophores etc we will be discussing these root modifications one by one so that we can understand the modifications modified functions that the root can perform first of all the tap root modifications these are conical root fusiform root napiform root and the tuberous root now first of all the conical root as you can see this is cone shaped and the example is the carrot where it is broadened at the tip and narrows towards the lower side then is the radish the fusiform root which tapers at both the ends and is slightly thickened at the middle tapers means thin at both the ends and slightly thickened in the region then is a napi form turnip root which is globular and suddenly tapers towards the lower end and then is the tuberous root and similarly we have the modifications of the adventitious roots for the storage of food 
and the various types of the roots which get modified the adventitious root gets modified we have tuberous root this one is the tuberous root then we have fasciculated roots this is the fasciculated root then we have beaded or the monily form roots that is the bead like structures on the roots develop something like this these are the monily form roots or the beaded structure then we have nodulated roots for example this nodulose roots you can see and finally we have the annulated roots annulated roots means the root develops a ring like structures on its end and it is like this all these are the root modifications of the adventitious roots and then we have root modifications for additional support first of all is the prop root in the old banyan trees when the stem cannot hold the weight of the old banyan tree tree due to the aging factor or because the canopy is very big and it as it grows in the age it develops roots from the branches which then grows towards the ground and finally become pillar like and this is called as the prop root then we have another modification stilt roots when the additional roots develop from the nodes of the branch and gives the extra support to the plant sometimes we have root buttresses when the uh, stem from the lower side it becomes quite broadened and gives the additional support to the up growing stem and then we have the climbing roots when the roots help the plant to climb up some support to reach the point where it can have sufficient uh, sunlight and thus it gives the additional support to the overgrowing stem so in addition to these we have specific root modifications in certain plants which help them to perform some vital function such as hostoria respiratory roots nematophores floating roots epiphytic roots i will be discussing nematophores with you so the example of the development of nematophore roots is the mangrove trees which grow in the saline areas where the soil is very salty and hence the soil is silty also and as i told you that root is always negatively geotropic here is the exception that because sufficient sun, uh, oxygen cannot reach in the deeper layers of soil in the prevailing environmental conditions hence they are plant becomes devoid of the oxygen and in order to overcome this problem the roots de have developed their adaptation that is then they start growing upwards that is positively phototropic and negatively geotropic with an exception from the normal roots and they appear above the soil like this and here they have developed the lenticels and from where the oxygen can enter and it can supplement the need for the oxygen in these plants similarly we have hostoria which are developed as the sucking roots to quench their requirement for the food from the pl host plant on which it grows and example for that is cascuta then we have this epiphytes uh, this these are the f uh, roots in air the velamen and when the plant grows as a epiphyte epiphyte is the association of two plants in which two plants grow in such a way that the one plant is only getting the support and not any other benefit from its host plant this is called as the epiphyte and epiphyte in order to grow on the branch of certain plant develops the root on the branches of the leaves which are the aerial roots are the clinging roots and this is another modification for specific function in the plants so these are some of the modifications of the roots in the plant which helps us to understand how vital the organ root in case of multiple uh, flowering plants is uh, there 
and of course the root is the one of the main organ and in the if there occurs any injury to the root or if the root is cut the plant immediately dies and so it is indispensable part of the plants thank you students stay safe stay healthy till we meet next time with the next uh, uh, organ of the plant and that is the stem so if you have any question you can ask me on my phone number